Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in this video, I would like to explain to you how you can restrict external sharing by domain. Uh, let me first clarify to you what I'm talking about. So uh, if you allow external sharing in your SharePoint and OneDrive, and I hope you do, what that means is that your users can share uh, documents and files and sites externally to any email, external email address out there. That means that users can send an invitation to greg at sharepointmaven.com. They can send an invitation to greg at yahoo.com, greg at gmail.com, essentially any external email address. Uh, however, there are situations maybe you want to be able to restrict that, right? Maybe you have some certain trusted partners, external companies that you deal with on an ongoing basis, and you only want to allow external sharing with them. Or maybe you want to prevent external sharing with uh, free and personal email addresses like yahoo or gmail.com, all right? So whatever the situation is, you can actually restrict uh, external sharing uh, by domain. Let me show you how this is done. Uh, obviously, this is an admin feature. This is not something end users can do themselves. So uh, you have to be a SharePoint or global uh, Office 365 admin to do that. Uh, so we are going to navigate to the admin center, to the Office 365 admin center. And from here, we are going to navigate to SharePoint and admin center. All right. And uh, the first option I'm going to show you would be the global option. So essentially, uh, there are two uh, ways for you to, uh, to, to restrict by domain. You can actually do it uh, globally for the whole tenant, uh, or you can uh, do it on a side-by-side -side basis. So the first option I'm going to show you would be how to restrict by domain globally, globally for the whole tenant. Uh, so here's how you do it under policies, click sharing. And this is, of course, the page you know where you can set up all the you know the various settings related to sharing. And in our case, we are going to click on more external sharing settings, and you will get to see this checkbox. By default, it's not checked. By default, you know it means that you can share with anyone uh, you wish externally. We are going to check that box and then click Add Domains. Remember, we are now restricted by domain globally. This is option number one. We are restricting it by domain globally for the whole tenant, for, for all the sites. All right. Uh, now, there are a few choices for you to choose from. You can either allow specific domains. So, for example, you have some trusted partners. You can list them, uh, all these domains, line by line. All right. Or the opposite, you can block certain domains. And you can block, for example, in my case, I'm blocking uh, uh, yahoo.com, you know, gmail.com, et cetera, et cetera. You can list them you know, one by one, uh, one on each line. And in my case, let's just restrict to this one, yahoo.com. I want to restrict that. Click Save. Uh, do not forget to hit Save. This is not obvious. You know, you have to scroll down to the bottom of the page, hit Save. Perfect. Our settings have been saved. Now, again, I just disabled uh, this uh, domain globally. All right. Uh, now I'm going to show you now what the experience uh, will be for the end user. But before I do that, I wanted to also show you an option number two. And option number two is where you can restrict um, external domains on a side by side basis. All right. So by default, uh, of course, the uh, sites inherit kind of the global uh, level uh, tenant settings. Uh, but let's just say, you know, for you could also. Um, Let's just say you also want to restrict it on a side-by-side -side basis. Maybe uh, here's a scenario. Globally, you do allow for, um, you know, for any domain, but maybe on a certain site, you want to restrict certain domains or allow certain domains. So for that, we need to navigate to active sites. Uh, here's the site, let's say. It's the board member site. I want to restrict external, external sharing here by certain domains. You click on sharing uh, button tab. And again, you get to see a very familiar option, limit sharing by domain, and you know, very similar kind of option. Again, you can specify either allowed uh, domains or, uh, or you see it even tells me at the org level, uh, I do block uh, this particular domain, all right? So again, by default, it, uh, it uh, honors the global settings, but you can be more specific, right? You can be more specific uh, at the, um, uh, at the um, uh, site level. All right. And again, so once all is uh, all is set and done, you just uh, click save. 
Uh, all right, and you know, pretty much uh, we're already doing this. I'm not going to make any changes here. We're already blocking this domain at the org level, but you can clarify you know, further other domains here. Perfect. And again, click save, save. I'm not going to, to save any changes here. Uh, but let me show you what the experience will be for the end user. So uh, let me just refresh my page. So here, here it is. The end user now tries to share something externally, this folder. I have some stuff in here. No, I don't, but that's okay. I'm trying to share this externally now. So option number one, I'll just show it to you. Uh, uh, this is where the user tries to share to, to a domain that is allowed. All right. So in this case, I want to, let's just say, uh, you know, do something like this. All right. Perfect. Here we go. In this case, it goes through, right? I don't want to hit send, but essentially it, uh, it you know, it just gives you a warning, but the gmail.com is allowed in my tenant. Now I'm going to do the same to the restricted domain. All right. So uh, and uh, this address right here, look at this. The user gets an error message. Your organization doesn't allow sharing with users from this domain. All right, so essentially this is the message they will get. And they will get this message no matter what they're trying to share. They will get this message if they try to share a file, a folder, or the whole site. It doesn't really matter. They will get the same error message. Uh, but that's pretty much the experience in case you try to restrict external sharing by domain. All right. One last thing I wanted to mention before we end this video, my SharePoint Maven Academy. Uh, it's a place where you can enroll in a variety of SharePoint and Office 365 courses. Uh, all the courses are available on demand. So once enrolled, you can pretty much take them at your own pace. Uh, you navigate to the Academy by going to academy.sharepointmaven.com. And I will also leave the link uh, in the uh, video notes as well. Uh, but once you make it to the site, um, you can uh, access all the courses. I have two different categories for you to choose from. I have some end user courses. I have some uh, site owner courses. And I constantly record and add additional courses for you to enroll in. Uh, and again, once enrolled, you can access those courses at your own pace from the convenience uh, of your computer. So that's pretty much all I wanted to cover in this video. Hopefully, you learned something new today. And as always, we'll be happy to see you again on my YouTube channel as well as my blog, SharePointMaven.com. Thank you very much and have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.